hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys today we will learn in this video how to access computer remotely means if you have a any remote site or any remote user and if you have to provide support to that user or if you are working from home um, and if you want to take uh, remote of your office system from your computer so today we will learn in this video how you you can perform this uh, whole activity from your computer so guys before go ahead I want to request you please uh, subscribe my channel if you are new for this channel and if this video will be helpful for you and uh, informative then please like and share with your friends let us start now so actually I have installed one server or you can say one machine in ASXI host and so you can say VMware and uh, I want to explain something about remote uh, before taking re remote you should have the remote computer host name means computer name or remote IP address means remote computer IP address uh, there are many ways to take remote like through team viewer or any desk or any other third parties softwares are available for remote session but if you want to access in same network then you can access uh, by computer hostname or IP address directly so let us start now so guys this is my server that is just you can assume this is in a, a remote site and in another at another place and this is my local computer so as I have already told you uh, for remote access you should have the remote computer host name means computer name or IP address so this this server or you can say machine IP is 10.10.10.2 so let us check first it is reachable or not from this machine in 10.10.10.2 so guys you can see here this machine is reachable now we will try to access this machine remotely so what you have to do you have to go to run and type mstsc and just click ok so here it is already mentioned 10.10.2 if not you can enter it manually 10.10.10.2 so in your case maybe this IP will be changed because this is my server IP and let us connect now so uh, one more things I want to clear here if machines which is in domain you should enter the domain name before enter username like suppose my domain name is here test or suppose your domain name is test so before enter username you have to enter here domain name like test 
or whatever you have test and after that username so my username is sky and you have to enter here password if machine is not in domain means computer is not in domain environment so just you have to enter here dot and slash means this is local user this is local user of a computer which we are going to take remote to which we are going to take remote if will enter dot slash then it will be treat as a local user of the remote machine remote computer and if machine is in domain then just you have to enter domain name so in my case that my domain name is test so i have entered this and after enter password you have to click ok you can see here it is asking do you want to connect despite the certificate errors so if you normally yeah, or you can say generally it will show to you also so just click yes password is incorrect okay let me try again enter yes so guys you can see here i have taken remote of my server that ip is 10.10.2 you can see here suppose if you are not able to if if machine is pinging means reachable and still you are not able to connect remote computer then you have to check if remote setting is enabled or not so what you have to do to check that just go to the this pc properties so in windows 10 it will be this pc in windows 7 my computer or xp and go to the remote setting and this setting should be allowed allow remote computer connection so this setting should be allowed on the remote computer to which you want to take remote so I hope now everything is clear to you how you can take remote of the your computer or server and once you will be take re remote then you can provide support to your colleague your office users or suppose if you are at home your if you are working from home then you can also perform your task by accessing computers remotely so guys i hope this video will be helpful for you so I request you to please like and share with your friends and click on bell icons for new upcoming videos notification thank you bye bye